One other movie that we want to talk about here this morning, and that is Caterpillar. Well, there are a lot more movies we want to talk about, but right now we're going to talk about Caterpillar. The shares are up by 6% following the company's third quarter earnings that beat estimates on the top and bottom lines. Total sales and revenue uh, for the company coming out, as you can see, pretty handily beating estimates. And revenue was up by 21% for Caterpillar here. Um, interesting here, they raised prices and saw higher sales volume, which we have not been hearing too much of, right? Uh, there's been a lot, particularly on the consumer side, obviously Caterpillar's more on the industrial side. On the consumer side, there's been a lot of, we raise prices, transactions kind of flat, sales volume kind of flat. Not so here, they saw both of those things rise. And machinery, energy, and transportation revenue up by 22% here. And um, they did see some currency impacts, as you would expect for a company's internationals Caterpillar, but overall, the number's pretty decent. Yeah, about a $461 million impact currency related. But yeah, to your point, this was a good quarter for Caterpillar. You look across the construction industries, resource industries, energy transportation, growth across every single one of them. And not just growth, it was double digit, nearly 20% for all of them, 30% for resource industries as well. Hey, when you need a new dump trunk, uh, if you have to pay 50,000 more for it, you just pay for it. I mean, you gotta haul this dirt around, but this stock usually tends to trade off of the results of that construction industry segment. That is their bread and butter. Uh, that's where you find a lot of these trucks we're showing on screen here right now. And, and a very good quarter to your point, guys, North America sales up 29%. Operating profits, because of those higher prices, rose 40%. Uh, you always wanna see operating profits rise faster than sales. That is a good thing. Only red flag, or one among a few, Europe. Europe was weak, and I think really plays into that notion that Europe is probably in a recession. I mean, what's really surprising here from this is the three segments that you're looking at, the construction, resource, energy, and transportation. Of the first two, we've seen housing sales mm -hmm. go down, right? And construction sort of pulling back to some extent. Resource prices, the underlying prices have certainly gone down, and yet this spending still seems to be holding up. Maybe some of these contracts were signed looking forward, who knows, to buy some of this equipment, but nonetheless, it's it's kind of surprising to see that kind of resiliency in these numbers. Yeah, absolutely. Huge company. Big cat there on the day. We're going to continue to see where they move, both going into the trading session and after we begin things.